Hi guys, this is Rich with Wild Wonderful Weekends, and I'm back today with another video on advanced photography techniques using the DJI Pocket 2. And today we're going to be taking advantage of this camera's ability to use a really high shutter speed and also a really high ISO to freeze motion. And what we're going to be freezing the motion of is a water drop falling into a glass of water. It's uh, super easy to set up, it's fun, and the results are usually pretty cool. And of course you can use anything that you learn here to apply to any situation where you want to freeze motion. So without any delay, let's get started looking at the setup and see what we can do. The first thing you need for this particular type of shoot is something flat and rigid. A book or board would work fine. I'm using a pane of glass laid across my ottoman. The next thing, of course, is a clear glass of water filled to the top. You can experiment with other liquids or food coloring also. The next thing I have here is optional, and that's a backdrop. I'm using blue poster board taped to a bar stool to hold it in place. I wanted to use a backdrop of some kind because they tend to make the images look a bit more polished. You'll need a second glass of water close by but just out of frame. This is the container we'll be dipping water out of to drop into our first glass. You'll need something to dip the water. I'm using a regular butter knife. Next you'll want a flashlight or work light to act as your key light or main light. This will need to be pointed right at your glass of water. It's a good idea to have a second flashlight if possible to add extra light or experiment with lighting the backdrop. Lastly, you'll need to mount your Pocket 2 on a tripod to free up your hands. When positioning your Pocket 2, be sure to take a test image and view it on a larger screen to confirm focus. The Pocket 2 has a wide angle lens, so you'll be tempted to get the camera close to your subject, but if it's too close, it won't be able to focus. I had to settle for getting more of the background in the pictures than I really wanted and just cropping later in my photo editor. Okay, now that we have our props set up, let's adjust our camera settings. Camera setup is really easy. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that our camera is set to Pro. To do that, we're going to swipe from the top down. Then we're going to swipe right to left until we get to Pro. We're going to tap it and it's going to say Pro on. Then we're going to swipe bottom to top. And now we're going to tap the Pro icon. And we're going to set our exposure. We're going to want to make sure that we select manual, so we're going to tap M for manual. And we're going to set our shutter speed to 1 1,000th of a second, and our ISO, which is basically our sensor sensitivity to light, to 1600. Then we're going to tap OK. And now we're actually ready to shoot. The key to getting a good shot is repetition and experimentation. I took 98 shots in all, and I experimented pressing the shutter button manually and also using a 3 second countdown. The 1 1,000th of a second shutter speed is plenty fast enough to freeze the motion of the droplets that bounce off of the water, but you may need to adjust your ISO depending on the strength of your flashlights and any ambient light in the room. The higher the ISO number, the brighter your image will be. The smaller the number, the darker. Here are some of my favorite shots that I got today. At first I had my second flashlight pointed right at the glass from the opposite side of my primary flashlight. But I thought the backdrop looked a little bland, so I pointed it directly at the glass of water so that it would shine through to the backdrop. I like that look much better. The high ISO means the images are a little grainy and noisy, but that can be improved in a photo editor. These pictures were cropped but not edited. I got several shots that I liked, but this one by far was my favorite. I decided to edit in Lightroom and apply a topaz filter to get the final image, and that's the one I used for the thumbnail for this video. But that's the setup and the technique. I hope you have fun experimenting with this, and I hope you get some pictures that you like. Don't forget if you enjoyed these videos to please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and take care.